Hello homeschoolers! I'm going to show you my simple and effective way to plan for preschool homeschooling. Okay, so my four-year-old and I have been working <laughs> on our method this year. Um, what I've landed on is a monthly cycle of um, daily plans. I'll show you what I mean. And I'll leave all these principles down below for you. So if you want to see how I do this, I'm going to walk you through it. I'm planning for the month of November for preschool. So this basket right here is what I keep all of my preschool supplies in. They just seem to be the bulkiest because as they get older, they just have like books and stuff. But there's like more hands-on stuff like my magnetic letters and so it just seems to be more hands-on things that take up more room. So Bo gets his own basket. So I did my, I shopped my house, you know, I did my stuff. I collected everything that I think I'm going to use this month onto my tray. And this is how I, you know, keep things when I'm ready. And then I don't have to keep digging through this and I just put everything back on the tray. Usually he sits at, well, this is a trunk, but we'll use it as a, his desk because it's the right size and he just sits on a stool. I am going to fill out my sheets for you. I printed out um, some new like planning sheets for preschool curriculums. I've got a uh, heavy letter day flip and I've got heavy number days, right? And I'm gonna do two variations. So I have forms A, B, C, and D. And then I'm just gonna rotate them through for the month of November. So I've already just planned it out. Then whenever, um, I'm done with the month because I like to keep these things for my records. Um, I just take this, you know, I check off, you know, when we actually did, if I actually got that day, I just check it off, right? And then I cross off it as we go. So this is giving me a record of how many learning days I have and exactly what we did because I'll just then take these sheets and staple them to the back of that and put it in our little archive, which is, you know, my manila envelopes for the year where I keep our lesson plans and then like a few samples of work. Well, welcome to my planner. Okay, so I was going over this stuff last night and I looked over my curriculum list. This is something I do before school starts. I've got my subjects, Bible, numbers, letters, read alouds, and then some skills, fine motor and gross motor skills, and some activities and resources. And most of these I already had. Um, and then there was a few things I bought at the beginning of the year, but you know, you mostly want to shop your house and just first figure out what um, skills or goals you have for them for the year and then designate that into a subject, you know, and then what resources you have that can um, accommodate those goals and subjects and then come up with some simple activities and then You'll just be adjusting. I, at least I do. I just keep adjusting usually on a weekly or monthly um, basis. So right now um, I'm into, at first I was probably doing things, kind of adjusting them weekly to kind of find out where his level was. You know, he's four, but regards four. So pre-K, heavy number day. Is we're going to call this one, the first one, A. Heavy letter day, B. And then C, and then D, right? And then I'm just gonna go through those daily. So I'm just going heavy number, heavy letter, heavy number, heavy letter. So I'm still gonna do, try to hit all at each day, all of my subjects, but they're just not going to be um, as heavy, you know? So my first uh, subject I'm going to plan for is planning time. So this is when I get out my planner, my lesson plans, and I go over them with his older brothers and they're putting them into their little student planners. And the focus, of course, for him is really for just for him to maintain focus. I mean, kids kind of have to build up their mental stamina. And like actually, so since he's not actually, you know, of course, planning, I'm just having him color during that time. And he uses his Berenstain Bear activity book. And then I'll, sh I'll show you guys all these resources at the end. And then we have Bible. 
and I want him to learn some Bible stories. I'm going through the Psalms with his older brothers, and he is welcome to listen with us and sit in my lap and do that stuff, but he usually doesn't. So what we are having him do is um, his own Bible stories, his own little books, and he has a storyteller from Cottage Door Press. And he also has a My First Bible that he can look through. And a lot of times, like, you know, if I'm done when the boys are doing their notebooking time um, for their Psalms, then I'll read him a Bible story. And then, um, since this is actually the same for every single day, I'm just going to go through and copy that in. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to move on to is, so this is his heavy number day, so the subject of numbers. Okay, so we're trying, some of our goals, this says subject, focus, activity, resource. So the focus of this is for him to build up his number, recognition, counting, number sense, maybe. Um, oh, and also number formation. We want him to be able to form the numbers. These two usually are done kind of together. Maybe I should have done that up there. Anyway, so, so the activity for number recognition. So on this day, we can either do, let's do blackboard, uh, writing, right, you can try to write it on the blackboard. And, um, or, so option one, this will be option two. Um, or he can do the play foam numbers. And um, obviously resources for this, I need my blackboard. I need my play foam. And the cards to go with it. And then let's see for number sense. Let's do. Let's read. Let's read a book on numbers that day. So I've got two I use. So let's use the number stories. Book one. And we're kind of to a point where we were stopped in it because he only recognizes numbers up to like eight right now, or that's what we're working on. So sometimes I have to go back and I just like reread it, the stuff we've already read. I think it's totally fine to reread the same stuff. Okay, and then counting. So we like to do counting patty cake. Uh, hands. <laughs> and then we do for number recognition. We like, so a big core of our curriculum is actually our playing memory. It's my memory game. So, memory. And then we use my flashcards for that. Okay. All right, then we like to do a read aloud. I'm alternating two books right now. I'll just call this pre-reading. That's the focus. And we have been reading um, Aesop's Fables. You can read like a couple of them because they're so short. This the one I have is great illustrations. I love it. So we still are doing letters, just not as heavy as numbers, right? So letters, we are, the focus is on, on E, A, U, and B. So he basically has these two, he recognizes. These E and A have, you know, like four sounds each that we give him. Well, really E has three, but we also include the silent E. that we. So we say, uh, E, E, I, and sh <laughs> for that when we practice it. And activities for this one. Oh yeah, I was gonna use my magnetic letters. 
We're gonna play with those. And there are like those cards that you fill in. I have, there's, I have some, uh, some vowel fill-in ones that came with it. I also like to get some gross motor skills in. And um, let's do ABC jumping jacks. That's when we sing the ABCs while we do jumping jacks. And then I've also been focusing on um, speech. So we just do an oral check, check in, and I use a vowel, valley, and a consonant chart. And then if we want to do some fine motor, um, the focus is, I don't know, hand-eye coordination. I have some painting. I got like these little pads for painting. And like, I don't know what we're going to do. It looks like a lot of stuff. I have a paint pad from Melissa and Doug. But like, you got your kids have to have stuff to do all day, right? Because I, they have to, he has to think it's just staying here with me most of the time because I have to be able to supervise him, but I also have to be in the school room to make sure that his older brothers are staying on task and like I'm working on stuff. Look, we're in here, we're all working right now, right? And he's working on a puzzle. So that would be something I'd probably put into fine motor, you know? So I'm gonna do the, basically the same day, but like maybe some different activities, a different variation. Okay, so I've got my heavy number of days planned out. So let's flip them over to heavy letter days. So then I would start with letters. So we are focusing on a letter recognition and sounds. So we're gonna sing our A, B, C's, right? While looking at them. Um, we are going to Give myself some options. We are going to um, use our Brain Quest workbook. We are going to, using the ABC section, we are going to use um, the Alphabet workbook. Um, or we are going to use uh, our play foam letters. And then I do want to do some pre-writing activities. So I'll just pick one, right? I'll say. Pick one. So pre-writing, uh, we like to do pan writing, like in the flower. Or sky writing. or chalk writing. I mean chalk writing, I mean outside, like on the ground. Then we'd be down to read aloud. So the other read aloud we are doing is child's book of poems. And I gotta be careful, this one will put them right to sleep though. <laughs> For numbers, um, number memory. I mean, we play this one a lot. It's kind of the core of our curriculum. It's like good at diagnosing what they need to work on more, and it also is good practice. So memory, so I just write any of my flashcards. Just say motor skills. He really likes, oh, fun. It's hand, it's hand eye. Yeah, let's do painting. We'll use his paint pad from Melissa and Doug the watercolor, because it's just really, I can actually do it in the school room, and I'm not worried about it making too much of a mess. Okay, so the next day, so this letter day. Okay, am I missing anything? I don't think so. And then I'll write myself notes, like if I'm, as I'm going, if I notice anything, I need to tell myself later. So A, B, C, D, and I already have it filled out on my monthly planner. So actually, I mean, I put these usually, yeah, it's gonna be like that. And then 
I will, yeah, I'll just check it off. If, if we actually do that day, I give it a check to know it's done. And I just cross off the days as they go. And then I can look, I can just open it up to his tab and flip to whatever day we're on. I, we just go down the list. Okay, so I've got November. The whole month of November is planned. And that's all the time it took me. Ta-da! Okay, what do you think? Is that something you could do for your child? I bet you can. Tell me how it works out. I just wanted you to show how planning it looked like so much stuff, but it's really about that much stuff. Oh, and his little tin up there. Don't look at my mess. Um, but you know, I have a basket that I kind of rotate you know, things out of. So, you know, shop, I shop my house first. I shop the materials I already have. Then, so once I've made that plan that we were just working on, I use this pan. I deliberately brought this pan just to dedicate to um, school. So I've got stuff. So I've got speech, numbers, you know, my play foam that I use for stuff, his activity book, doing planning time, uh, fine motor skills. We've got puzzles, um, painting, and scissor skills, our two read alouds, and our letter stuff. And I'll just, I'll show you here in a second where it all ends up. Okay, so I picked everything up off the floor. It all goes onto that pan. Show the camera. Five. And then those make six, seven. Show me both your hands. Show me seven. <laughs> Good job. That's ten. Okay, no match. Flip them over.